my name is Laura. I'm a primate keeper here at Cameron Park Zoo. And today we are down in the lemur barn and we're with one of our female ringtail lemurs. This is um, Caprice Sun. And she's one of our females that we have here and she's been a mom twice. Um, and today we're actually gonna show you guys some of our x-ray training that we do with her. Every year that she's had kids, she's had two babies and um, we couldn't confirm that through ultrasound. And so we developed an x-ray training with a voluntary platform so that in hopes we could take a picture of her to see if she has one or two babies inside her. So that's what we're doing down here today with Miss Capri. Ultrasound's definitely a little bit uh, less invasive. Um, but it's very difficult, especially when you're looking for twins in an animal. Um, you know, even if they're very still, um, it can take quite some time and quite some um, effort to just locate two. Whereas x-rays, um, if they're far along enough in the pregnancy, you can see the fetal skeletons um, really easily. Um, so the trade-off, you know, we are using radiation, um, but it is a really low dose, and just getting that snapshot in time where we can see those two fetal skeletons is a, um, a lot easier than, say, doing ultrasound. So right now, uh, we're actually setting up our um, x-ray generator, and this is what we're gonna be using to try and take some um, x-rays of our lemurs. Um, so right now, I'm just trying to get the position just right um, so that when we take the x-ray that the lemurs totally in frame. So as far as <clears throat> distance and things like that, everything's got to be at just the right angle and distance from the x-ray screen for it to show what we need to see. So it takes a little bit of tweaking. Um, but um, we've been able to get some pretty good shots thus far. You know, once we were able to get it, we kind of put out, put that information out there um, that we had done it and we haven't heard anything back. So as far as we know, we're the first institution to do it through positive reinforcement training. So you can see this is actually um, the first image that we got of Capri. And that's again, that lateral shot so you can see this is her spine coming back down, her tail going up this way. Her front uh, arms are there, her legs are here. And then this is really what we're focused in on is the abdomen. Um, if we were looking for a potential pregnancy, we would probably see um, potential fetal skeletons right there.